Hello, fabulous humans. This is Susan with the Athiopagan Media Team. I am outside trying to enjoy my tea, which might not last long because it's 17 degrees right now. Um, so bear with me, I'm wearing big gloves. And if I drop my phone, we're just gonna carry on as if nothing happened. Everyone agrees to that, right? Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day and I'm trying to practice. There is no bad weather, only bad clothing. So I've got my sit spot. I'm gonna have a squat in my snow pants and my big poofy coat and just enjoy the snow and the wind for as long as I can. Um, but I also wanted to talk to you today about my tea. We just had a lovely conversation in the mixer, the Saturday Zoom mixer. I encourage everybody to come if you can and if you want to. Um, and tea got brought up and I wanted to talk about that because it seemed like a lot of people were on the same page about tea being really important to them in their spiritual practice. Um, and I'm one of those people, so I wanted to kind of talk about what that means for me. And, um, sorry, that's my glove in the camera. Um, the first thing for me that's important about tea is that it's just comforting. And it's warm, and it's hydrating, and you can make it taste like just about anything you want. You could even do hot cocoa. I'm going to include that in here. Um, and let me be clear, when I say tea, I'm referring to infusions and decoctions, not specifically tea, the uh, specific plant uh, that is used to make green and black tea. That is one subset. I'm using tea in the colloquial sense of a hot beverage in which leaves are, or other plant parts are steeped. So I suppose in this case, coffee is also a subset of tea in this sense. Um, and yeah, especially if you think about coffee, people have a real intense relationship with coffee in their lives. Um, I mean, we go to great lengths to get it. We, some of us have it every day. Some of us have it more than once every day. Some of us have a irresponsible or unhealthy relationship with it. Um, but yeah, I think that tea, and, and I'm going to echo a bunch of points that other people made on the mixer too, um, so I want to give credit to those people, but uh, not call them out by name. But it's a way to experience all sorts of things in your spirituality. For me, it's a time that I can take out in the day and... I know that for the amount of time it takes me to drink this tea, I'm not going to think about anything else other than what means a lot to me. Um, obviously not every time that we drink a beverage we're going to be super mindful, but I try to, as many days as I can, sit here and be grateful and uh, be mindful of the fact that I have the water, the means of heating this up. I have the space to sit and enjoy my tea. It's a really good mindfulness exercise and I hope you can hear me over the wind. It's really picking up, so I'm sorry. Um, but also, as somebody pointed out, um, it can be a really great way to connect with the natural world if you're going to do herbal teas and explore, um, even if you don't want to get into herbal medicine, which I, I have been, and I'm finding that really rewarding to um, kind of concoct a special recipe of my own based on what I think my body needs that day and what would be most comforting and healing to me. But even if you just want to explore from a taste profile, there's different options for different plants that might grow in your area and different things that you might be able to grow yourself. Oh, it's getting windy. I'm going to stick it out as much as I can. But it's a really great opportunity to be part of nature and the area around you. 
especially on a day like this where it doesn't really feel you know there's not a lot growing right now obviously but I've I've got some stuff that is dried from my yard in my teacup so it can kind of remind me of warmer days um, some of the things I have I you know I've harvested my own dandelions from my yard and cleaned the roots and dried them up and now they've become a good tea for me and give me all their nutrients you know whether or not we've got um, uh, whether or not we've got um, direct Western verified evidence of whether dandelion heals this or that it's still got lots of nutrients so I think it's it's really important to to kind of think about what's around you now I will say dandelion is not a native plant I recognize that um, but there are plenty of native plants here that I am connecting with more and understanding them more and how they grow and how I can help them to flourish um, in this space because I'm learning about it through that lens and the tea reminds me of that. Um, I'm also uh, having another video information about how you can uh, use tea for divination. That's another way you could um, bring tea into your practice. Um, but another way is just by sharing it with someone else. You can have a cup of tea with somebody and really connect again in that way of having a break and sitting down and all we're going to do right now is we're going to have tea and talk about each other and our relationship or lend a listening ear when somebody needs it or have a tea party. I would love to have a tea party with all of you and just uh, share the time and the table with you and get to know each other better. Um, but maybe tea time together will will happen at uh, some future date and some future Ethiopian gathering space. But yeah, I hope that uh, this was fun for you to watch me sit here and freeze. Um, it's actually been really nice for me to uh, be able to, to share this moment with you. And it's given me some courage to stay out here maybe a little longer than I normally would have. Um, so thank you for joining me. And I'm going to put the phone down and go fill those bird feeders. Take the snow off of them. And give an offering back to the birds and the other critters in my local space. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you again soon. Please like and subscribe. That really helps us to uh, bring more things to you and have a better whole YouTube channel for you to enjoy. Thanks very much. Bye.